Welcome to the Maritime Startup Ecosystem Interviews, a series we created to give even more exposure to startups from the Maritime Startup Ecosystem Network. Today we are with Patrick Toll of PT Ship Management, the first full digital ship management company which covers all aspects of ships management services. Welcome, Patrick. Welcome. Thank you, Leonardo. Leonardo. Thank Hi, you. Hi, Patrick. Uh, yeah. How are you doing? I see you have the sun behind you. Uh, very yeah. sunny day. They were forecasting rain, but you know how it is. So, <laughs> yeah. So, Lucky so, us. so we have some, some good weather now for the last weeks. That's good. Good, 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 good. You're, you're based in Hamburg, are you? I'm based in Hamburg, yeah. That is where I founded the company um, like five years ago now. Yeah. And um, it's, it's a big benefit that we are now uh, full digital because uh, under COVID-19, we have to stay at home. And it's for us absolutely no problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. In fact, I, I think, well, I, I think this is a recurring comment from many of the startups that we are mm -hmm. talking to, uh, who are, which are digital. And mm -hmm. uh, oh, finally, uh, we... we we show that we are doing something uh, relevant <laughs> in a time that right. is, that is uh, because it's really difficult sometimes uh, for, for a startup to get uh, visibility uh, in, a, in a world that keeps going the same way. But now we are really, mm. it can be the differentiating factor. So um, do you want to tell us a, a, a bit, so you said you, you founded the company a few years ago um, in Hamburg uh, and you do ship mm -hmm. management. Um, Correct, yeah. So, so anything more about the company so that the, the, the people who are watching this uh, can really understand what you do and they may, might mm -hmm. see, oh, that's interesting for me. So tell, tell us about the company, what you do, how you do it, um, and then sure. oh, go ahead. Um, basically, I, I, was, I was working on, uh, let's say, traditional ship managers uh, previously from until 2015. We had the idea to, to start up the, the company by my own. Um, it, it was born from the fact that many of the companies I've been working before were very traditional, very much uh, paper-based, uh, process-based, hard to change the internal processes. And I, I found the only way to, to get ahead with digitalization was to start from scratch. So when I was taken the decision yeah. to, to start up from zero, and I, um, I talked to Alexander Buchmann from Hanseatic Soft, who had at that time developed this Cloud Fleet Manager at a very uh, small stage at that time, but useful. Yeah. And since then we were working together and said, okay, we, we built that ship management company from scratch and everything I need, uh, we are then closely monitoring and uh, co-developing. And um, since then we had quite some success and moving forward, I think it is, uh, it is the right decision to put everything in the cloud. Is it with uh, whatever um, supplier you have, but I think it's the only way to go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very interesting. Uh, very, so, so uh, you started with really a partnership, a collaboration with some some other startup or mm -hmm. some other like company in in the startup mm -hmm. world, but but bringing in also your uh, expertise as uh, in in ship management from mm -hmm. like traditional uh, from a traditional career in ship management. Mm -hmm. uh, and you started this um, so five years ago. I guess uh, you you you're past the stage of of uh, piloting, and I guess you're already running uh, with like full uh, with with the full business uh, with clients. So can you tell us uh, something about not your clients specifically, but uh, your 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 engagement with clients, how how it works? Yeah, we have uh, actually we have uh, two clients. Uh, one um, client has three vessels with us. Um, they have previously five. Yep. Um, two were sold due to age and um, they were um, sold anyway. And yep. um, then we have a new client um, uh, who has two smaller feeder units. Yep. And what we see is um, that the connection with the clients is very good at a certain stage, but sometimes it's difficult because we have the full transparency and it's uh, compared to other ship managers. It's much, much more information which they can pull out of the system. Yep. And it might, it might, seen that there is more issues or more things ongoing on these ships as on traditionals because um, when the transparency is so low at the trans at a, at a normal ship manager they only will tell you when your ship has uh, is sunken or is, is on fire or stuff but we have yeah. all the small issues as well 
and um, it needs some training to get into uh, understanding how this transparency is working. So that is uh, one of the bigger challenges I'm facing with, with that customer. And also, even if we have everything digital, um, many are tending to have reporting done uh, ex -obey. So it yeah. takes always some time to create them and to, to transform that into the format they want to have. Because even those guys sometimes need to report to other um, entities and that makes it more difficult. So that, that is what we face. It's, yeah, it's, it's a small um, challenge, let's say. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so you're you're coping. We are working with with a world that is is very like uh, paper based and Excel mm -hmm. based, and you have somehow to um, be fit, like deliver in in that language or in that uh, context, even if you mm -hmm. if you have something that is much more uh, powerful. And on the other side, uh, very interesting the the comment about about the transparency. Um, Actually, we can, we, you can provide as much transparency as you, as you want uh, mm -hmm. in a much easier way, in a way that for an educated customer is uh, excellent. Uh, but if, if they are not educated, as, as they are used just to hear just the big troubles and nothing mm -hmm. else, and anything else, um, of course, it, it might be a, 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 an issue. But I think it's, it's really, as, as you say, it's, it's our task as innovators to show uh, our our clients how they can change the way of working and how what we are bringing them is added value it's not less value it's more value because it's like saying uh, i tell you just the big troubles okay fine as as always but then mm -hmm. they you can you you add something that can add value to them because they can react in in, in positive ways also to small issues rather than leave, letting them explode. So I guess this is a matter of education and by doing it, I guess uh, you are educating them. Um, so, so, well, that's great. So you, say, you said like five ships in total to clients, which is which, well, small, small figures, but it's mm -hmm. also a startup that, that I, don't, I don't think is, is particularly big in, in terms of, of people. Mm -hmm. Uh, so how, how many of you is it now? We are six with, uh, and, and myself. So um, basically, I also said at, at some interviews that I want to have um, 0 0.75 people per vessel as, as a KPI for, for the shore-based yep. stuff. Yep. Um, because most of the things I want to, to um, transform, let's say, to make it more um, uh, easy to, to work on that. Um, there's another thing I, I like to change um, the, the way of purchasing. So um, uh -huh. to, to give the purchasing power back to the vessels with the, with the systems we have. That is something we are working currently on. Cool. And um, of course, I need, a, I need a baseline of people. Yeah? So like um, the security officer and the superintendent and those, those guys is the minimum. Um, when the fleet is rising, then I will have more vessels than I have uh, shore-based personnel. And that, that is where we are earning the money because... The income rates are so low for, for ship management that you can't survive if you have two or three people per vessel, which is the, let's say, the mean value in the, in the industry. Yes, yes. So you're making, you're making a, a, a very uh, low margin business more efficient mm -hmm. uh, and basically you're, you're making it more, more valuable also for, for, for yourself, for the startup, for the company that you okay. run. And uh, it's very nice to reduce the, the, the number of, of people per vessel if you can provide the same or better uh, uh, level of service. Um, now, you, you, I think that in a previous conversation, uh, I think you mentioned something that really was very interesting about uh, how you're coping with COVID and how what you are do, you are doing is uh, really fit for for the for the current times. Um, can you tell us something about this? Yeah, uh, basically, what I, I I did know already before that I basically don't need an office. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but now it's it's proven. So um, I just need an office to be audited by by class societies for our yeah. safety systems because I don't want these guys to come home and eat my cookies. <laughs> um, because it's always where the company is registered, uh, there, there they will come and, and test the systems. Yeah. So most probably we will work into a co-working space uh, by end of the year. 
just yeah. to re reduce the expenses and uh, to be more flexible because my guys are now for two weeks in home office and it's, it's working brilliantly. So and even the efficiency of the people is, is higher, what I can see. It's, yeah. it's much better. And I, I think I remember uh, in a previous conversation, you have an example of how it's working with a specific vessel, if you can share um, it. I think I remember you told me something about a, a vessel, a dry docking, a vessel which is dry docking right now. How, mm -hmm. how are you coping, coping with, 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 the, with the COVID situation? Um, we, we were uh, grounded here in Germany, so we couldn't uh, attend. So we teamed up with, uh, with another ship manager in, in Singapore, which I, which I know, and we were connecting the systems. Um, so I was sharing our cloud systems and uh, we are using Teams and uh, WhatsApp with the crew as well. So we have really a remote um, docking. Actually, no one is attending, only the captain is there. Um, but in the end, we had, to, uh, we had to stop it. So it was just started. But then came the complete lockdown also for the shipyard. So um, on, I think on Friday, we have aborted uh, because uh, the shipyard workers were um, hardly affected by the COVID-19. And yeah. they were all sent home. So, but basically, from the first touch experience which we which we had, it was running very well. So the crew was uh, assisting very good because they had all the systems they need. We were always in touch. WhatsApp, um, Zoom, or all the other teams uh, were used to um, get in touch with the with the art workers. We marked the systems which had to be repaired and uh, was absolutely no problem. I had just to wake up three o'clock for the art meeting here in Germany, but it works. Well, that, that, that's fine. But you're, you're at home. You're not uh, uh, 10,000 miles away. Uh, um, and well, I think that th this is really, really a proof, proof that uh, the, the new digital way of working works. Now, you started this dry docking uh, with covid uh and you managed to make it work in spite of covid in spite of the impossibility to travel the long distance and so on uh, and you proved I, I think already a model where you really can work from from the distance and everything works now that you were mm -hmm. shut down that this test or, or well, actually this project was shut down is just mm -hmm. because really COVID came in at the, at the micro level, at the, at the shipyard level, where no one could be there. So then if it really no one can be there on the ship doing the like, welding or whatever, <laughs> there's no mm -hmm. point. But the, the point I think is that you prove that it can be done with a shipyard that is working properly on, on the other side of the world and with the right connections and with the right uh, workflow, you can even dry dock a ship without moving uh, from the office. And I think this is super powerful for, for yourself, for the startup, but also, I guess, for the clients because mm -hmm. it allows to do things uh, also in, 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 say in an emergency mode uh, without having planned or, and without moving people around, without uh, saving costs also, with saving costs uh, for, for everybody. So I think it, it, uh, I really like that example, even if, I say, well, okay, then COVID uh, went so strong that no, nothing, nothing can be done. So another thing that I would like to ask you is how are you doing with funding? Um, you're, you're already running uh, with, with a number of clients, uh, um, so you're already sustaining your, your, your business with revenues, I guess. But of course, then you can grow and, and expand to more clients. So how, how is it going? On one side, on the client development, uh, business development if you're reaching out to more clients and if you uh, what you're doing to do this and how many you expect or, or wish to have in the, in, in the next future and how you're funding this so if you are in fundraise mode uh, so these two two sides if you can tell me something yeah basically it's uh, pretty difficult for me to to do this PR uh, stuff because I'm, I'm just not this commercial um, top level uh, manager from from previous companies um, so for me that's Pretty difficult. I'm using just uh, social media like LinkedIn and, and, and websites and uh, those things. But um, and most of these uh, ship management contracts because all the big players they know each other. So and um, it's difficult to get uh, back to uh, 
acquiring ships. In, in Germany, it was a long time uh, being done the KG market with banks, and you know that was. Uh, there's very little people investing in vessels now here from Germany, so yeah. it's difficult to get get to them. Um, the banks are uh, dropping everything, which is the uh, which is the ship. So I I would need to go more international, but that's not possible in the moment. Um, in general, I had too low budget for PR, so I was more busy in let's say developing the company and surviving, but also. Um, Fundraising, I, I have never received any funds, so I was not going for any fundraising uh, campaigns yet. Uh, could be helpful, but um, I was working also more on an exit uh, strategy, and uh, I was very close, and there's still something uh, going on. So, yeah, that is what I'm looking for. Okay, to, so, so. To, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. To get the final exit, to, to, to put my, let's say, my way of working, or our way of working as, uh, as yeah. a team of PDS, yeah, uh, yeah. into one of the bigger managers. So. Absolutely. Well, this is a strategy. Actually, it's, it's interesting. Uh, so basically, you're saying business development. I I could do it, but I'm not um, organized for it. Uh, and it should be abroad. Uh, and now, now particularly with COVID, it's 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 impossible. Uh, but then funding this activity that is beyond the the the, the operations, because you're saying basically, I'm a, I'm an operation person. I built a, 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 a very uh, like efficient uh, system, uh, totally uh, virtual, to manage uh, a ship. And now, rather than funding, rather than um, going the, the entrepreneurial way, uh, like building a startup and growing it, uh, uh, fundraising like Silicon Valley style, you're saying, look, I have now a a piece that is very important that will be more and more important for for ship management companies and it's there it's here it's working and it can be integrated in a in a larger company so basically larger uh, ship management companies know that they can uh, talk to you and uh, um, see how your systems can be integrated in theirs and m helping them make their company a digital uh, ship management company as well. So I think this is a very interesting proposition and you could do it either through a partnership, mm -hmm. but from what you say, also through simple ac acquisition. So for you as an exit, for them it's, oh, we buy something that is working already and that we can scale. Mm -hmm. So very interesting. Um, and I think it's, it's sensible for someone who has a very technical and operational operational um, knowledge and mm -hmm. doesn't it's not interested to go into the like the entrepreneurial uh, like uh, company building uh, yeah. aspect so very interesting uh, I think that uh, this should um, convince uh, ship management companies that might be uh, watching this to talk to you, so go and talk to Patrick. Uh, he's got something that uh, you will very soon require need, and uh, rather than building from scratch, uh, this thing is already working. And he did already some pretty cool stuff, like running uh, a, a dry docking uh, project uh, from afar. Um, mm -hmm. So. Go ahead and talk to him, uh, Patrick. Uh, very thank you very much for this uh, brief like chat that we had. Uh, as always, actually more and more with the last chat that I had, it, it turns a bit painful because of of uh, breaks in the connections. Uh, now everybody's on Zoom. Actually, the guys at Zoom are really doing a great job uh, supporting. I would say the business world. Uh, it's a big moment for them, but of course, uh, also all the networks are really saturated. So sometimes it happens that it breaks down, but uh, we go, we keep going because I think this is the way in these times. Uh, Patrick, thank you very much again. Uh, if there is any like last thing that you want to say to to our audience, it's your it's your moment. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you, Leonardo. Um, just uh, was very nice to talk to you, and uh, as always. Uh, okay. So. Great, great. Thank you. Keep keep up with a great job, and uh, mm -hmm. well, stay safe. Thank you, Patrick. You too. Bye. You too.
Bye. Okay.